Okay, here's my first uh, solar project, my solar powered uh, pump house. This uh, supplies all the water to my house. Uh, hopefully I have a lot more projects later on, but uh, this is my first one. As you can see on the roof there, I've got, uh, got four panels. Three of them are, are 20 watts. They're all mounted together and tied together in, in parallel. And then I have the one that's 100 watt. Uh, it's just all by itself. I originally had them all hooked in, Well, I had two charge controllers, one that I run the, the three little ones and then one that ran the big 100 watt charging my battery bank and I found that that was way more than I needed. I would have my batteries charged full within the first hour in the morning and, uh, and then just pretty much waste my solar power the rest of the day. Uh, so I disconnected that, that, uh, those small ones and I'm just using the 100. I could probably actually switch it back and just use the those three small ones and as use my 100 for something else. But right now I have it on the 100 and as you can see I have it mounted at a fairly steep angle. Uh, I did that for the winter time for a couple reasons. One, I wanted the snow to uh, slide off the panels. I don't want to have to keep cleaning them off. Uh, two, as you can see over here, the, the sun, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, the sun is, uh, is pretty low on the horizon. Uh, so if I tip it up like that, it'll, it'll get a lot more sunlight than if I have it flat, it'll, it'll miss most of it. Uh, during the summertime, I'll take those, those braces out and bolt it directly down on the roof and get more sun during the summertime. Uh, let's take a look inside. I'll show you what I got going on in here. Uh, first of all, uh, we got uh, those wires. Those are the wires coming from the two solar panels. Well, I call them two solar panels. The one is the three hooked together, which equals 60 watts. And then the one is the 100 watt. Uh, I'm, I'm right now, I'm still using the 100 watt. As you can see, that's uh, fully charged my battery bank. So that goes, sorry, it's kind of a mess in here right now. That goes down to my batteries right there. Two uh, deep cycle marine batteries I got off, cut from Walmart. Uh, with taxing and core charge, everything about $100 a piece for those at Walmart. Um, from there, let's take a look at how my water system works. Uh, I have a, a spring. This is the water coming in from my spring. It's actually higher elevation than we are right here. So uh, it flows right down this pipe and around and drains down into this 55 gallon drum. Uh, I use this, this tank mainly to separate out some of the sand. There's a lot of sand in my spring. So a lot of the sand will settle to the bottom. And uh, then I have this filter coming out of the side of that. Uh, that'll take out the rest of the sand. It'll come over to this tank, and that's where I have my, my clean water stored. Zooming in, sorry. Uh, that's where my clean water is stored, and uh, from there I run off my pumps. My pumps just pull out of that side of that barrel. Uh, I have three pumps here, as you can see. First one right over here. Uh, zoom in. That one right there is the first pump coming from there. Uh, I run this in series, so this one goes into the intake of this one here. These are both the same pump. Uh, you can see the model number right there if you want to. Uh, same pump. I use two of them because uh, once I get very much pressure, these uh, just one of them by themselves don't pump very much water. With two in series, I can get a pretty good flow. Uh, together, they'll pull about 14 amps when they're running in series like that. Okay, then I, uh, and that just runs, that T's right there. One line actually goes, uh, over, this is my storage tank right here. Uh, goes to that storage tank, and from there, it runs out of that tank and goes to, uh, to my uh, water softener, and from there into my house. Uh, this other pump, this third pump, uh, I actually use that one to boost my pressure even more and it comes into this smaller uh, storage tank, which I pressurize up to anywhere between uh, uh, 50 and 90 PSI. It kind of oscillates between those two. And I do that because that runs my reverse osmosis. Uh, I found that it gets a lot better water with a higher pressure. Uh, I'll go into more detail on how this works. I got a, I got a pretty neat setup here. 
But uh, with this, my water, my my water dissol total dissolved solids go down from about 700 to about five. So it really does a good job with that. And from there, I have another pipe that goes in down there to uh, to my my tap in my house. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much how the the water works. Uh, like I say, that that uh, 100 watt panel is charging this very well. Uh, that 60 watt panel, I'll go into this a little bit more detail sometime too. I haven't run it into this right now. Uh, it's a little grid tie uh, inverter, 250 watt. I've got that total 60 watts running into it. And I have that plugged in just to see how much it'll generate into this kilowatt meter. I don't know if you can see that. It'll focus. Okay, there you go. Okay, you can see I'm running about 57 watts of power into that right now. And uh, so, you know, that's pretty good. A 60 watt panel, it's almost producing full power right there. Um, anyway, that's my pump house. Uh, I'll get some more videos another time.